y'all some of this in y'all. Get y'all some of this early morning. <sighs> Get y'all some of these early morning runs in you. What's good? It's your boy coming at you with another one. Courtesy of DVE Sports Works. Uh, but briefly, talk about the state of Detroit Pistons, state of the Michigan Wolverines. Pistons, whew. I should have been, uh, man. I was so disappointed watching that overtime game. Shout out to everything King, man. I swear, man. King was... Man, I got to learn how to put this in the context. Because I be thinking this shit. I was damn sure thinking it while I was watching that damn game. As good a shot as that was, but he hit. It's like, man, we ain't, we just didn't deserve to win that game. How we was... Oh, boy. Dwayne Casey is the real culprit here. I've been trying to tell y'all, man. I've been telling I've been saying it from day one. When Derrick Rose hurt himself, you should have just took him out. When he was looking hobblish or whatever, you should have took his ass out. Shout out to Quentin Capella. Y'all let him go off. My God. I ain't never seen Quentin Capella have a uh, 2020 game. He probably, I think he has had one with Houston. But damn. Trey Young, man. That, what, more, what, what, what more can you... What did you expect? You know what I'm saying? Trey doing just what I thought he was going to be doing. And I seen like Sadiq Bay not even playing much. Like, dog, get Casey out of here, man. Damn, let 313 J Mo be the interim head coach for the rest of the fucking year till y'all figure something out. Let King make the executive decisions till y'all figure something out. Because, man, I'm sorry, man. As far as the NBA go, the Pistons got the dumbest front office, bro. They just do, man. Starting with their owner who don't have a clue. No disrespect to him, but you ain't got a clue how to run a team, man. And Dwayne Casey, the older you get, the man, Dwayne Casey need to be he need he need to be he need to be coaching in the big three or something. That's just period. I like the fact that Pistons are still fighting. They compete. It's gonna be like that for pretty much for most of the year. Yeah, they gonna steal some games at the end of the year. Where everybody's already set up or whatever. My 20 game prediction is looking stronger and stronger. Man. As far as the Wolverines, I told y'all after that loss, after we lost to Minnesota, I feel sorry for the next opponent. I told y'all that. Period. Shout out to the Michigan Wolverines. Shout out to Jawan Howard. He got them boys. He got them boys running. Got them scrapping. Got them scraping. As I said before, you know, Dickens has appeared to be a. He's appearing to be a fresh of fresh air, uh, a breath of fresh air. You got Wagner coming along, Livers. I like these guys. That part of the schedule is here, though. But we about to see. We really about to see what the Wolverines. It's going to tell us something as far as them moving forward. But I ain't worried about them. I think they'll be fine. So go blue. Shout out to DBE. What to do, Morris? What's up, Chase? Shout out, LB. Craig, though. Eric. Eric, a lion fan. What it do, man? CA3. Thizzle. This your man, Mondo Ray Boy. Courtesy of DVE Sportsworks.